What's up guys, I have a new uh, knife review for you today. It is uh, this pretty cool knife. This is the Bucks, Buck Mars, Marksman. Sorry, I can't talk. Um, it comes in this box. Um, Buck, made in the USA, that's good. Then it comes with tools. And it has their um, warranty information. So, lifetime warranty, which is good. Um, now this is not just any marksman. Normally the marksman that they sell um, are aluminum handles. This is uh, G10. And it's orange G10 with the black, black stone washed uh, finish on the, on the steel. This is a back strap. Um, this actually reminds me of the um, 8015 with the way you kind of have to like get your hands and pull that yoke back. It's kind of almost like the same principle as the 8015. Um, this is a very, you know, light knife and I'm going to put all the uh, stats right here on the screen so, so pause and read if you want. But having the G10 makes lightens this knife up very good. Um, this is like a Parkerized clip, so that's a really nice touch. Let me show you what it looks like in the pocket. So that deep carry clip works excellent. Very nice clip, very nice. Um, something that's cool when they mount the clip on the, the top, so it's left and right hand carry. This is completely ambidextrous because uh, the opening and the and the closing are are exactly the same so very lefty friendly knife you can deploy it with this thumb hole um, or the flipper tab and the way they have this this back strap uh, the D10 is great on it it just flips out it's a very very satisfying uh, flick out um, with the flipper tab it's just very I was surprised at that as you see, um, the only, I'm going to just go ahead and say my only complaint is getting this strap off um, to get the blade closed is my only complaint because it's not something I'm used to. It's, you kind of have to like get your finger in there and then you, you want to be careful because you see the blade does come up. It, like I said, it's like the 8015 in that way the blade and the 8015 comes right in between there too so you don't want to get your finger so far in there that it will take a little piece off so you gotta watch out for that now something cool there's a little allen key or allen yeah a little allen nut in there that will actually adjust the um the way this thing moves up and down so if you ever find that you have blade play you can pull it back to tighten it up so that's a really great idea. So, um, middle finger flicking, perfect. Uh, thumb flicking, perfect. And like I said, the flipper tab is just great. Um, this um, does have jimping on it, and this does look like it'd be sharp, but it's not actually. Like some flipper tabs that look like that actually are really sharp and annoying, but this is perfect. Like I said, it's just perfect. This does have a hollow grind on it with that Boss Heat Treat S35 VN steel, and it did come very, very sharp. Uh, I was cutting some paper up stairs, and it was just gliding through it like it's nothing. Now, something cool. You can kind of see in there, this is running on ball bearings. And it is very, very smooth. And no blade play. So, um, if I didn't mes mention before, this is SK Blades exclusive. So they collaborate with Buck and they do some higher, um, do some better quality uh, Buck knives. Um, and this is a good example of one. You can see the centering is pretty much there, maybe a little off to my right. Um, but everything else 
lock up 100%, um, smoothness 100%, flipping action, great. I'm glad I got the chance to see this because I always kind of wanted to get one of these. Um, before I continue, uh, ergos are good. Um, I kind of like the profile of of um, knives like this where it kind of swells in the back. I kind of like that. Um, it would have been nice to have a choil. You can see the sharpening notch is not quite done. It doesn't quite clear that plunge grind there it's starting to uh, flare up so if that was widened out and made a finger choil oh man that would be comfortable right there my three fingers feel pretty good um but like i was saying everything about this knife is good except for i don't like how i have to disengage it it's not it's not that user friendly to me um i'm sure with time it will come but uh, I'm glad I had the chance to to um, get one in hand so I could I could actually tell before I bought it. So this is not my knife provided by Buck. But so thanks for that, Buck. It is a great looking knife. They do have it in a um, now. This one is called the Inferno because uh, of the coloring. They do make one that's gray, and they call I believe they call it the Gray Ghost or something like that. So I'll leave a link to where you can pick one of these up if you're interested. But that's all I got. Have a good one.